Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on May 26th, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to a very busy update. We're going to start out here looking at our sun, as you did just have an Earth-facing solar flare M-class, and you'll be able to see it on the right-hand side, bottom portion of the sun, right there. And also, we've got some plasma filaments to talk about. And many sunspots looking at the last 48 hours incoming. We had that plasma filament eruption on the right-hand side. Large CME as well. A backside solar flare there. A little jolt and glitch in the satellite feed. A few small sunspots as well to talk about cresting. Outgoing, it looks very bright. On the left-hand side, we've got a few sunspot regions. And on our right-hand side, we've got that large CME projected from the M-class solar flare right there. Instantly affected and a minor radio blackout storm was reported. Another closer look at the active regions on the sun right now. It is all pretty much outgoing, but this will give us a glancing blow with that M-class solar flare producing a pretty sizable CME Looking at multi-spectrum at all of the events, the last 48 hours across the sun, still some amazing imagery coming from Solar Dynamics Observatory. I welcome everyone to the channel, a lot of new followers recently. Welcome to Daily Events Worldwide, keeping humanity aware and prepared. With space weather updates as well, earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Looking at 193 angstroms here. You can see the black regions. Those are coronal holes. They seem to be diminishing, but then deepening a little bit after that solar flare. Solar X-ray flux remains in the bottom low and C range after being up to the M-class, small M-class at that, and then a few short C flares. Geomagnetic activity remains low ahead of coronal hole wind stream. And looking here at the DRAP absorption map, this is where we were charged the most from that solar flare. Minor radio blackout alert was put out. Real-time solar wind, we're sitting at about 300 kilometers per second. And that is after all of this activity that we've seen from our sun. The last three or four days, it's been pretty busy. Looking at the last few hours here, Alaska 2 and 3, and then the last two days here, on LASCO 2, solar flares, CMEs, plasma filament eruptions. My, oh my. Busy, busy sun. And we're seeing already direct effects on our planet. We've got, we're going through an earthquake event right now. If you haven't heard yet, large 7.2 earthquake rang out early this morning. Looking at the ISPA Space Prediction Spiral, we are leaving the space weather event just as that CME took off from the sun. Doesn't look like it's going to give us a glancing blow at all, actually, now looking at that forecast model. Schumann resonance for today is a power of 41, healthy, charged power across the planet. Go figure, many large earthquakes today and numerous across the planet. Amplitude of 41, quality of 9, power of 22. Now let's get to earthquakes. Starting out with early this morning, there was a 7.2 earthquake rocking Peru, 271 kilometer depth, very far inland. No tsunami from that earthquake was put out as well. Recently here, East Pacific rise 6.2, West Chile rise 5.1, and as well, Constitution, Chile, 5.1 earthquake. So I was going to put out an earthquake warning video last night. It was way too quiet in South America. And go figure. 7.2 earthquake early this morning. 4.2 there. A sizable earthquake into the Caribbean subduction zone. As well, a sizable 4.3 here to report in Ridgecrest, Trona, California. 4.3 earthquake at a 5 kilometer depth. Minor swarm continuing through Texas. Small earthquakes continuing through Alaska as well. Hawaii is a quiet spot today, but its caldera is very hot right now and becoming a liquid state. Across the Philippines plate, pretty quiet. 
6.4 loyalty islands that rocked about an hour after the 7.2 earthquake in peru and our deepest earthquake today 386 kilometer depth 4.9 there fiji interesting earthquake here 4.8 in nagu china mongolia and as well kyrgyzstan 4.9 and that is the last 24 hours for earthquakes across the planet very busy usgs reporting just under 280 earthquakes across the planet normally we're around 200 to 230 and it's been up over that all day long just looking at the last seven days across the planet a lot of deep earthquakes recently and we were expecting something big it was just a matter of time now if i had put out the earthquake warning last night for south america i would have been bang on because i was going to say peru even look at all these earthquakes in north pole do you think it has anything to do with our magnetic field definitely does looking here at the holly plots showing seismographs across the planet all across the united states south america china russia africa seismographs going off the charts with that large 7.2 earthquake peru 6.2 four earthquake loyalty islands 6.2 earthquake south chile rise even antarctica going off the charts there a little bit so heads up everybody just have a plan stay aware and prepared that's what it's all about look at venezuela blacked out wow heads up having a look here at some weather look at the size of this low pressure system that's coming sweeping across eastern United States and eventually up into Canada. This is a very tightly whipped and large low pressure system. We've had some interesting systems racing across North America recently. We also have a tropical system coming out of Mexico in the next few days. You can see it ramming up against the coastline right now, getting ready to enter the Gulf. Satellite imagery brought to you by NOAA. As well, weather data from Pacific Disaster Center showing the most recent satellite imagery across the world and as well the most recent volcanoes getting updated. Look at all these tornado alerts across the United States right now. Greer, South Carolina, Blacksburg, Virginia, Indianapolis, Indiana, Wilmington, Ohio, South Carolina, New uh, Kentucky, Manam, we'll get to volcanoes now, Dokono in Indonesia, as well as Sabancaya in Peru, Nevada to Chilean, Colombia. I'm sure they are a huffing and a puffing today from these large earthquakes. Fuego, Guatemala. Very active app right now with 121 alerts across the planet. Swiss to Najima, Japan. Tsunami watches that went out early this morning, but no tsunami was imminent. Sangue in Ecuador, Reventador in Ecuador. So that's about 10 volcanoes getting updated today amongst the 52 volcanoes that are active and or erupting across the planet. Stay tuned. The volcano activity report will be coming soon. Continuing on here across the world for satellite imagery. Atmospheric river of moisture stretching across the Pacific right now, getting ready to head into Pacific Northwest, United States, and BC. As well, interesting jet stream here, Southern Hemisphere, with three very large systems and even more coming in the forecast, and they will be forecasted for Australia. So, heads up, my Aussie friends. Monsoon rains across Asia, low pressure system. Coming into Italy, and has been for the past 12 hours, but watch for that to head straight northward into Central Europe. Pretty dry conditions across Africa right now. Dry conditions persisting through Central Australia. And here's that system there. And look at the Atlantic, very large and vigorous low pressure system heading through there. Wow, things are going to be changing here quickly, folks. Welcome to the new mini ice age. 
brought to you by our sun and its effect on our magnetic field. Let's get to weather here. Brought to you by Venture Sky and Daily Vents Worldwide. Looking at that low pressure system now. Forecasted model here for the next few days. Extreme weather across southeast and northeastern United States. Heads up. And then moisture heading into Ontario for tomorrow. And possibly the day after. Could get some thunderstorms as well. But all this moisture is going to spread right across the Atlantic provinces. Got a low pressure system heading through Hudson Bay right now. As well, a low pressure system that will be coming through parts of the Canadian prairies. Low pressure system heading in for Saturday for the West Coast, parts of Oregon and Washington, and then into Utah. More extreme weather and moisture heading into Manitoba this week as well for Sunday into Monday. As that low pressure system comes out of Colorado again and heads straight north. Interesting. Gee, I wonder why. Have a look at one of my most recent videos talking about our jet stream and how it's broken. Overlooking Central America here, low pressure system heading in. Possible tropical conditions most likely will not perf will not turn into one. Probably, but I'm saying about a 25% chance of a tropical system. Looks like it's going to get blown out by that huge high pressure ridge. Overlooking South America. Daily evaporation rains heavy through parts of northern Brazil, Venezuela, as well. Heavy through parts of Brazil border with Argentina there. Thursday into Friday, could see some heavy downpours and strong thunderstorms with that system. Overlooking Europe, low pressure center through the Mediterranean. And then watch that to scoot into central U Europe. Another low heading into Spain as well. And that's for Wednesday into Thursday next week. Other than that, no major systems affecting you. Africa, pretty dry days ahead of you here. No major developments in daily evaporation rains. Although watch for coastal regions, West Africa. And as well, East Africa, coastal regions. A lot of moisture heading into there. Overlooking Indonesia, Malaysia, Southeast Asia. No major tropical systems developing in the long range, but monsoon rains are back for the region. Drying out later in the week for parts of Sumatra. And then Australia, you've got some pretty big systems coming into you over the next few days. Long line of moisture coming in from the northwest. Could be some extreme weather at times as this system comes in as well you've got a low pressure center on the east side just leaving parts of new caledonia so rain for parts of southeastern and as watch for this system to come in sunday into monday parts of western australia and that will spread into parts of central australia strong low pressure system coming in for new zealand wednesday into thursday and then look at this, one right after another, big low pressure systems heading into parts of southern Australia, Tasmania, and New Zealand over the next few days. So heads up, Pacific Ocean, getting ready to throw an atmospheric river into the west coast. Thanks for watching today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, hit that like button. Stay aware and prepared, stay young and have fun, and get your daily due. Bye-bye. Today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.